day number five, 2024 National YMCA Swimming Championships. Welcome back. I hope you've had a great week. And this morning, again, I'd ask you to please rise. No, that is not a fire alarm. That's just testing our system. And officials, I'd ask that you would please step up to the side of the pool. Officials, please step up to the side of the pool. Thank you. All officials, either end, all around the pool. We've got a several things to cover this morning, but most importantly, our morning reflection will be presented by one of our athlete representatives. And these athlete representatives, we started this a few years ago with the meet committee because we love our athletes. We care about them. And we love to have their input because this is their meet. This is their meet. We as parents and officials, volunteers, we're here doing this for our athletes. And today, we have an athlete representative, a member of our meet committee. She's from the Kennett and Jennersville, Pennsylvania YMCA. And her name is Caitlin Burke, and she'll present us with our reflection this morning. Good morning, swimmers, coaches, officials, and parents. Congratulations to all the swimmers who have trained hard to qualify and compete at this meet. Each day, we swim thousands of yards, staring at either the black line at the bottom of the pool or the ceilings at our pools that we've come to memorize. One thing that has certainly helped get me through these practices are my teammates. Whether it's a good or bad day, my teammates are there to put a smile on my face. It could be an inside joke that we all have with each other, or even just a set long conversation about who our favorite Disney princess is. If anybody is wondering, Rapunzel is the clear winner every time. This camaraderie is something that is truly special about the YMCA swimming community. These friendships don't just come from my own team, but with other swimmers from other YMCAs as well, such as Ridley Area YMCA. Whether it is a senior mentoring a freshman, or an open taking a six-year-old under their wing, these friendships also extend outside of the water. Coaches getting to know each other after standing next to each other for hours on deck, officials working together during meets, and parents sitting on uncomfortable bleachers for hours just to watch a swim for possibly only 25 seconds. For the past 13 years, I've gotten to see how special this YMCA swimming community is, how amazing these friendships have become both in and out of the pool. Before I go, I would like to thank all of my own teammates who have made my time swimming so special, whether they're down here in Greensboro, back up in Pennsylvania, or to my friend who still impacts me even though she is no longer with us. Thank you for every laugh, smile, hug, or even cry we've ever shared. You have all truly been one of the best aspects of my YMCA swimming career. And with that, I wish everyone the best of luck the final two days of the meet and whatever comes next in your swimming journey. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. We really appreciate Caitlin's support with our meet committee. She was with us this morning at 7.15 a.m., swimmers and athletes. It's a job you want to have because you can provide input to our meet committee to make sure this meet meets the needs of our athletes. So thank you again, Caitlin. Please remain standing, gentlemen. Please remove your hats as we honor our country and those that serve to protect it with the playing of our national anthem.
I ask that you please remain standing. And at this time, keeping with tradition, we have lost the following members of our YMCA swimming community. Our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to their families and loved ones. Each individual has a unique life story and had positively impacted those that they came in touch with, and we are thankful to have had them as part of our swimming family. I'd ask that you please turn your attention to the scoreboard above me. Joel Alex Black, former swimmer coach, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Gary Grant, former swimmer and national YMCA champ and record holder, Lakeland Hills, New Jersey. Richard Doc Ludeman, former YMCA coach in Wilton, New Canaan and Westport, Connecticut. John Mendel, parent, volunteer, official and longtime national YMCA short course meet director, Lakeland Hills, and Ethan Posner, swimmer, Lakeland Hills, YMCA. May each of your spirits inspire us to care more about each other and the community that we serve and live in. I'd ask for a moment of silence. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call Mr. Eddie Hughes, who chairs our Connie Carroll committee. And Eddie will take the mic here and introduce to you our Connie Carroll recipients. But before we do that, I'd like to recognize those folks who are standing here in front of me and around you and in front of you all up in the stands with the blue shirts on. They are volunteer officials. Thank you all for your service to this meet. We hope to see you in Ocala this summer, but let's turn it over right now to Mr. Eddie Hughes. Thank you, Bob. Each year, the Connie Carroll Award for Excellence in Officiating is given here at the short course meet. It started in 1992 to be given in memory of Conrad Connie Carroll, who served tirelessly for 18 years in any capacity that needed to be done. We, over the years, have tried to uphold this tradition by giving the award to recipients who do anything and everything in our officiating family to get the job done. This year's recipient is exactly in the mold of Connie Carroll. She has been an official for the past 25 years and is still going strong. <laughs> she is a YMCA official, an NCAA official, and a USA swimming official. She is also certified as a YMCA swim trainer and also on the YMCA faculty. She started her service in New Jersey and has since moved to North Carolina. I present to you and present the award to Chris Jung 
of Leland, North Carolina. I would also like for the past recipients of this war award to step forward at the blocks. Once again, big round of applause, Chris Young. Our Connie Carroll Award winner, and thank you again, officials. We're going to start to meet here in about three minutes. Once our officials get into place, please report. And it is Friday. Fast Day Friday, as it's known, correct? Or at least that's what we hope. That's what we're striving for. MCA Smithfield YMCA coach to the announcer's table, please. Smithfield YMCA coach to the announcer's table. Thank you. Smithfield YMCA coach of the announcer's table. Thank you. Are you ready? Men's 500-yard freestyle championship and national record for 1801. Set back in 2011, one of our longest standing records, Nick Caldwell from Sarasota. We'll have 10 heats this morning. This will be heat number one, Madam Referee. And over on the women's course, women's 500-yard freestyle, your championship and national record set back in 2014 for 39-13. Courtney Harnish from York, eight heats in total. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee.
right, we are off to some 500 yards swimming this morning. Hope you're enjoying your week here in Greensboro, North Carolina. So a couple of national records last evening. And thanks for those of you who have joined us online on the men's course, lane one at the bottom of your screen, lane eight up top, and on the women's course, that's reversed. It's lane eight on the bottom of your screen, lane one up top. We are in heat number one for the women and the men, 500 yards of freestyle. Over on the men's course, it's Parker Shuffman from Greater Des Moines, Iowa. He's in lane number three. Nick Cameron from Anderson Area YMCA. Alex DeVry, he's in four in lane number five from Upper Main Line. Alex DeVries. In lane number six from Western North Carolina, Pierce Hample Man. Couple of our pair of swimmers in here doing a great job. Pierce, Ampleman, and then over in the women's side, Casey Freeman in lane number three from Yoda. She's a national champion in the 200 backstroke. We saw her the other night. Pair of national champ, Caitlin Evans from Greater Monmouth in lane four. And Nikki Harkins in lane number five over on the women's course. All right, now taking the bell lap, that's Nichols. Cameron Nichols from Anderson. It's the ballot of 419.04. And Nichols, he goes 447.08. Lane number five on the women's side, that's Nikki Harkins. Almost four seconds ahead of the field. Nikki from Greater Somerset County taking the bell lap. And Harkins comes in 5-10-60. All right, 
let's give these athletes a big push, a big cheer. Let's have them finish up strong. Casey and Pierce, let's go. Keep it pushing. They can hear you. Give them a hoot and a holler. All right, great job, Pierce. All right, concludes the heat number one. Good job, Casey. Heat number two of 10 on the men's side in the water, and heat number two of eight on the women's side in the water. Jack Humpert from Triangles in lane number one on the men's side. Frankie DiMartini already in Berks County in lane number two. Holden Nist from Jackson in lane three. Jonah Reese, York and York counties in four. Harrison Regan, lacrosse areas in five. Kyle Kruppa from Phoenixville is in six. Logan Swenson, Fanwich Scotch Plains, is in seven. And Jack Martin, Reading in Berks County, in lane number eight on the men's side. Over on the women's side, in lane number two is Ann Margaret Holt from Lynchburg. Lane number three, uh, Broughton Webb from Lynchburg. Lane number four, Paige Seahaller from Schrader. Lane number five, Addie Marcosia from Meriden, New Britain, Berlin, Y in Connecticut. Lane number six, Elise Pashalk from Oshkosh. And in lane number seven, Whitney Kane from Upper Main Line. It's your field in heat number two. It's again eight heats in total on the ladies' side and 10 on the men's side. Top time so far, 5, 10, 60. Coming out of heat number one for the women and 447.08 for the men. That's Cameron Nichols on the men's side and Nikki Harkins on the women's side. So you may be thinking, what did it take to get back into the championship final last year? I know Todd Stevens is. On the men's side, it took a 4.32.16 to get back into the championship final last year. Get into the B final last year was 4.35.41, and into the C final last year was 4.38.92. And on the women's side, last year to get back into the championship final was the 458-83. Into the B final, you had to go 502-35, and into the C final, 503-83. That gives you a, a little bit of measure from last year. On the women's side, Kane is your leader. Well, Whitney Kane, 14 years old from Upper Main Line. And on the men's side, out of lane number four, that's Jonah Reese from York and York County. Coaches, just a quick reminder, voting closes at Saturday at 11 a.m. for the coach of the meet. Your ballots are available at the help desk. Ballots available at the help desk. So now moving up. 
Harrison Regan on Jonah Reese. Also moving up, Kyle Kruppa on the men's side. They'll have 50 to go. And it looks like Regan will take the bell. Also now moving up out of lane at number two, it looks like Frankie DiMartini. On the women's side, still out of lane number seven, Whitney Kane at 4.07. Top time so far, 5.10.60. On the women's side, 4.47.08 on the men's side. And out of lane number five, that's Regan from La Crosse area in Wisconsin. He goes 443.97. Your new leader on the deck. And over on the women's side, that's Whitney Kane from Upper Mainline, the 14-year-old. She goes 508-71. After two heat, that leads the way. So heat number three on the men's side in the water. And number one, ben, ben Swanton from Farmington Family Y. Lane number two, Sebastian Aguilar Oshkosh. Lane number three, Sean Stanek, fan with Scotch Plains. Lane number four, Brady Gallagher, Westchester. Lane number five is Carter Hagenauer, Pal Crosley Jr., Tiger Sharks. Lane number six, Kyle Burke, Kennett and Jennersville. Sister gave an awesome reflection this morning. Lane seven, Grant Smith, Newbury County Family Y. And lane number eight, Alex Burkhart, Foothills. And on the women's side, Molly Foltz, upper main line, is in one. Lane number two, Lindsey Bright, Lancaster and Fairfield. Lane number three, Sophie Perry, Yoda. Lane number four, Keelan at Mains, countryside. Lane number five, Emily Sadal, Greater Somerset County. Lane seven, Malena Brodowitz, Lehigh. And in lane number eight, from the foothills, Chelsea Burkhart. Kind of interesting, the, the Burkharts are lined up in the same heat number in the same lane. Not on purpose. But we'll see what happens here for Chelsea and Alex Burkhart, lane eight. So on the women, heat three. Lane eight on the men's side, heat three. It's like Grant Smith leading the way here on the men's side. Newbury County. And over on the women's side, Siddell is out ahead of Bright. Now moving up on the men's side, Adeline number two, Sebastian Aguilar from Oshkosh. 
See what these gentlemen have left on the last 150. Still Sadal. Now Perry has moved into second on the women's side. And then Bright. And on the men's side, we have a new leader with the 100 to go. Aguilar from Oshkosh. Sebastian Aguilar and then center of the field's trying to move up. Keep for the bell lap will go to Aguilar. We'll see what they have left on this last 50. Time to beat 443-37. That was put in the last heat, Harrison Regan. Well, it looks like Aguilar. We'll do it in a 4-20-29. Great swim. Or 4-40-29, I'm sorry. Need to clean my glasses. I swim, gentlemen. And Bell lap down there and on the women's side for Emily Sadal, 15 years old from Greater Somerset County. Time to beat on the women's course, 508-71. So to heat number three on the women's course, 507-13 for Emily Sadal. She now unofficially is your leader on the deck. Heat four of 10 in the water for the men. And on lane number one, Michael Ferrioli from Lakeland Hills. Farmington Valley's Blake Wolves in two. Lane number three, Domingo Lewis Gotti from Greater Somerset County. On lane number four, Greater Somerset County's John Idais. Lane five, Mason Duggins from Greensboro. Lane number six, Colin McGraw from Chambersburg. Lane number seven, Michael Gothier from Cheshire. And in lane number eight, from Fanwood Scotch Plains, Kyle Dripchak. And over on the women's side, and in lane number one from Upper Main Line, Morgan Harley. Lane number two, from Greater Spartanburg, Tegan McEnroe. Lane three is Etta Yonke from Oshkosh. Lane number four is Skylar Jansen from Birmingham. Lane number five, Riley Edge from Greater Somerset County. Lane number six, Dylan Eldridge from Greater Monmouth. Lane number seven, Demetra Bikos from Birmingham. And in lane number eight, Savannah Ortzek from Woodson. So heat number four of eight for the women, heat number four of 10 in the water on the men's side. So Gotti out 217, uh, 66. Halfway through. Edge, your leader on the women's side. Through the 200 at 
158. So 350 through for Gotti. Still your leader. Domingo Gotti. Looking to get another swim at least in that 15, another D final tonight. Also moving up out of lane number one. Ferraioli. From Lakeland Hills. And it's still Eldridge, and then Bike goes and Edge on the women's side. Not much separating those three, less than a half a second. And the bell goes to Domingo Luis Gotti. At 41531. Time to beat so far, 440-29. Very nice swim for Domingo, 15 years old. He rolls in at a 443. Into one right now, he number five for the men. And finishing up on the women's side, that's Dylan Eldridge at a 503.89. Nice swim, Dylan. That is your top time. So heat number five for the men. Now in the water, 10 heats in total. Your top time, Sebastian Aguilar from Oshkosh, 440-29. Out of heat number three. Connor Marshall's in lane number one for Piedmont. Lane number two, Tyler Rohr for Lakeland Hills. Lane number three, Trevor Olson for Lancaster. Lane number four, Seth Morgan for Rocky Mount. Lane number five, Bennett Harris, Triangle. Lane number six, Cooper Tinsley, Rock, Countryside. Lane number seven for Yoda, Cooper Weiss. And a lane number eight for Lawrence County, Nate Dorsch. And over on the women's side, heat number five of eight, Maxine Camelone in lane number one from Greater Monmouth. From Greater Monmouth in lane number two is Savannah Or Orvets. Lane number three for Westport Wesson, Megan Grisanti. Lane number four for Greater Somerset County, Natalie Hilbrecht. Lane number five for Piedmont, 
Lucy Nicholson, lane number six for Farmington Valley. Michaela Ellis, lane number seven for Ridley. Sarah McCann, and in lane number eight for Lakeland Hills, Bridget Rinkowitz. So halfway through on the men's side, or So Ellis leading on the women's side at 200. Then moving up on the 300 mark. Pretty tight in the center of the pool. And right now it's Olsen, Harris, and then Morgan. Olsen at still moving ahead putting a little distance now that was a pretty good split right there on that last 50 and on the women's side from Farmington Valley Michaela Ellis leads the way 100 to go on the men's side Trevor Olson from Lancaster Family YMCA. Ellis a threw it at 328.76, about 2.6 seconds ahead of the field on the women's side. Bell lap for Olson. About two and a half seconds clear of the rest of the field. 4.40.29 is your time to beat. You should be underneath that. And Trevor Olson goes 4.37.01. Nice swim there by Trevor Olson, followed by Morgan, and then Harris. Out of heat number five. And finish it up on the women's side. Michaela Ellis trying to hold off the field, and she does. 5.01.07, and that should be your new top time unofficially for Michaela Ellis through five heats. So we head into the circle of seats. Now over on the men's side, heat number six is in the water. Lane number one, Gus Hahn, Lakeland Hills. Lane number two, from Fairwood Scotch Plains, Harrison McClure. Lane number three, from Greater Des Moines, Drew Dyke. Uh, lane number four, from Cheshire, Peter Zalewski. Lane number five, from Indian Valley, Campbell McFall. Lane six, from Countryside, Ethan Lemer. Lane seven, from Summit, Will Moon. Lane eight, from Fairwood Scotch Plains, Will Hines. Top time, to, top time so far on the men's side, Trevor Olson, 437-01, Trevor from Lancaster. Three. 
Over on the women's side, first of our three circle seated heats in the water. In the lane number one on heat, in heat number six from the Greenwich Marlins, Ellison Charette, lane number two, 40th in this event last year, 18th in 1,000 from Hickory, Catherine Simpson. Lane number three, 15th in the two free from Champaign, Ella Maxfield. Lane number four, 58th last year, 11th in the 1,000 from Piedmont, Sarah Wells. Lane number five is Josie Marino. She was 33rd in this event last year from Wyckoff. Lane number six, Serena Dickey, 41st last year in this event, 17th in the 4 a.m. the other night from Lakeland Hills. Lane number seven, Mia Hatsis, 24th last year, third in 1,000 for regional Y Western Connecticut. Lane number eight, Megan Ayers, eighth in the two breast from Piedmont, 14 years old. Leader is Hatsis, he's out eight one hundreds over Dickey. And on the men's side, Early leader McFall, Campbell McFall, 246 at the 300. So your time to beat on the men's side, 34, 437.01. Campbell McFall comes in at a 440. And the second spot, pretty even. Uh, and McFall, 315-32. And he's followed by Hines, Moon, and then McClure. McFall will have 100 to go when he reaches this wall. Hatz is now up a half a second over Dickey and Maxfield on the women's side. As I mentioned, Hatsis was 24th last year, but she was third in the 1,000 the other night, having a good meet. So we're going to get the bell lap here pretty soon on the men's side. Trying to move up. Another Connecticut swimmer, Peter Zalewski. And it looks like Zalewski gets the bell. And he does at 413-42, just over McFall. Trying to move up out of lane number two, McClure. He's now in third place. The men have something going on here in the middle of the pool. And Hatz is trying to stretch it out over Dickey and Maxfield. And good swim, good finish by McFall. He goes 439.40, and that will be unofficially second fastest time. Hatsis takes the bell on the ladies' side. On the women's course, first of our two circle seated heats in the water, heat number seven of eight. On lane number one, Nita Sulek, 
from Jackson, 14 to the two free. Lane number two, Annie Dickinson, six to the two free from Schrader. Lane number three, Billy Sherratt, fifth to the four I am from Fairwood Scotch Plains. Lane number four is Kelly Hassett, 11th in this event last year, 13th in the four I am last night from Birmingham. McKenna Pottinger's in five, six last year, fourth in the thousand from York. Uh, lane number six is Abby Winicki, 11th in the two breast from Woodson. Lane number seven, Katie Petricelli, 21st last year, 15th in the thousand this week from Greater Somerset County. And lane number eight from Greater Somerset County, 17th last year, third in the two free last night, Colleen Bull. That's your first of our two circle seated heats in the 500 on the women's court. Over on the men's course, heat number eight of ten in the water. Lane number one, Chase Sapiro, 49th last year. Oliver Stahl chases out in pretty good fashion on the men's side. Yeah, he's out 312 right now, looking pretty good for Chase Shapiro. Lane number two is Oliver Stahl, 22nd in this event last year, 14th in the two back this week. Ethan Lloyd. 18th in the 4 IM, he's in lane three. Lincoln Council, 40th last year in this event, fifth in the thousands in four. Jed Ritchie, 39th last year, 14th in the thousand is five. Lane number six, Eli Edmondson, 16th in the, the 4 IM, is in six. Adam McCrami, 68th last year in, in this event, is in seven. And Will Pestricelli, 12th in the thousand this week. Sorry, that is the next heat. My bad. This is heat seven. What do I know? Guess I could read that a little bit better. We'll get to those names. We'll just say here Wickman in one, Fava two, O'Neill three, Tungit four, Harrison five, Stebbin six, Osbus seven, Kazmark in eight. So it was Eli Wickman from Schrader having a good swim up there in lane number one. If you can hold off the field, but it looks like it's going to be. Stebbins going 436, so that's your fastest time on the deck. 436.82 for Nate Stebbins. Good swim for the young man from Birmingham. Finishing up on the women's side, out of heat number seven. Annie Dickinson, she goes course final heat heat number eight second of our two circle seated heats is in the water lane number one she was eighth last year ninth in the thousand Taylor Goodwin lane number two 20th in the two free last night Ellie McNamara lane number three eighth in the two free six in the hundred fly this week Kenzie Pudia 
And number four, our top seed coming in. She was second in this event last year. Second in the four I am. Second in the two back this week, Hayden Penny. Only number five, 14th in this event last year. Fourth in the 200 free last night. Maladi Mitchell. Lane six, 15th last year. 13th in the 1,000 this week. Ava Knopsneider. Lane seven, 12th in this event last year. Seventh in the two free, and she won the 1,000 the other night. Kirsten Dietzwerler. And in lane number eight, 11th in the four I am. Evelyn Walsh. Top time, 4.56.92. Megan Ayers from Piedmont. Time trials, time trials will close in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, time trial table closes. So that's at 9.58, time trial table closes. So pretty big swim out here for Oliver Stoll. He's out 240.04, 300 through, 240.04. Pretty good swim going on by the... Spartanburg, 17-year-old. And on the women's side, out of lane number four, Hayden Penny. She's got a, almost a two-second lead. 1.7 over Padilla right now. At the halfway mark. So Stahl galloping away. Will the field be able to come back here on the back half of this 500? Heat number eight of 10 for the men. So Penny, about three seconds ahead. So she's put a little bit of water between herself and the rest of the field. McCrabby now moving up from Greater Monmouth on the men's side, but Oliver Stahl Still your leader. He's looking to take the bell off this wall. Coming up. A little bit of work left. 50 to go for Oliver Stoll. Time to beat. 436.82. Stebbins from Birmingham. The 15-year-old. And it'll be Stahl at a 4.33. Pretty good swim. Oliver Stahl. Greater Spartanburg. Followed by McCrami and then Lincoln Council. Training partner and teammate. Hayden Penny takes the bell on the women's course. That's Hayden on the women's course. That's Hayden Penny to 455.42. Unofficial your top time through the final heat. Next up on the women's course, 200 yard individual medley. Your championship and national record set back in 2015. 
154-25, Megan Small from York, Pennsylvania. Nine heats in total. This will be heat number one. Mr. Referee. And over on the men's course. Heat number nine in the water. Coming up on the 150 through on the men's side. That's Quarterman. Out of lane number one, 16th in this event last year, 17th for IM this week. Ricky Turbo Kasane. Lane number two, he won the 1,000 the other night, was 13th in this event last year, third in the 200 free from Pal Crosley, Nathan Spetz. Lane number three, Tyler Quarterman, fourth in the two back, third in the 4M from Boise. Lane number three is J.C. Gordon, 10th last year, 13th in the two free, second in the 1,000 this week from Lynchburg. Lane number five is Isaac Carr, seventh last year, 10th in the 4IM from Champaign. Lane number six is Cody Lonsbury, 14th last year, 4th in the 1,000 from Indian Valley. Lane 7, 28th last year, 9th in the 1,000 from Piedmont, Will Charlton. And in lane number 8, 18th in the 1,000 from Vineland, Tanner Innes. Uh, these boys are just past halfway through. And over on the women's course, and the ladies are working their way through the breaststroke. And that looks like Hadar Miller from Upper Main Line. Uh, 300 through on the men's side. We're at 240 for Gordon. That's J.C. Gordon, 240-51. Oliver Stowe was 240-04 at that point. Once again, your time trial table closes in eight minutes. Eight minutes. Time trial table closes. And J.C. Gordon, he'll take the bell. 40361 right there. At the 450 mark. On the women's side, heat number two of nine in the water. 207.15 was fastest time. That scoreboard was unofficial on that last heat. Scoreboard was unofficial on the last heat on the women's course. Heat number one. And a pretty good swim for JC. He goes 431.17. Unofficially your top time on the deck. Followed up by Lonsbury and Charlton. Final heat in for the men. Heat number 10 of 10 on the women's side. Heat number two in on the two IM. 
Lane number one, Owen Nye, 18th last year. Lane number two, Ethan Shooten, 35th last year. Lane number three, Brayden King, 19th last year, third in 1,000 this week. Lane number four, your top seed, ninth last year, fourth in the two breasts, Owen Markowitz. Lane number five, Angus McDonald. He was first in the 4 a.m. last night, sixth in this event last year. Lane number six is Cam Kraft, 17th last year, 20th in the two free last night. Maddox Turnis is in lane number seven, 21st last year, and Peter Ms. Meltzer, 25th last year, is in lane number eight. Aaron Richards takes heat number two, 207.89. Top time so far on the women's side, 207.89, Aaron Richards, Farmington Valley. And on the men's side, 431.17. So what it take on the women's side to get back on in the 2 IM last year, eighth, to get into the championship final was a 204.32. Get into the B final was 206.44. And to get back to the C final last year on the women's side, the 2 IM was a 207.40. Shutton, he's out in 145.39. That was at the 200 mark for Shutton Zhang. For Lakeland Hills on the women's side, sub 1 double O to 59.39, your leader halfway through. And on the men's side in the 500, still shutting at 212, 26, 250 through. Real nice swim going on here. 431 time to beat. Ethan Shutton from Schrader, Wisconsin. Final heat for the men. Second of our two circle seated heats. We need an upper mainline coach to the time trial table, please. Upper mainline to the time trial, please. to go on the men's side. So Esther Kiss from Greater Somerset County goes 207-27. Unofficially your leader on the deck. So on a lead number two. Schrader's Ethan Shutton. 401-81 coming off that 450 wall. And he'll push for home. Great swim. Ethan Chutton go 429. Unofficially your fastest time. Out of the prelims. We'll have those results there momentarily. So Ethan Shutton. Hopefully hold down lane number four, as will Hayden Penny on the women's side. Let's go, Howard! Next event for the men. 200-yard individual medley. Championship. 
Record set in 2023, Daniel Deal, Cumberland, Maryland, 144-51. National record, 141-41, set in December by Thomas Heilman from Piedmont. 11 heats in total. This will be heat number one, Madam Referee. And on the women's side, that was Eve McGinnis from Greater Mamba, 208-11. Top time remains with Esther Kiss, 207-27 out of heat number three. Heat number five of nine in the water for the women. Heat number one of 11 for the men. And Hirschbrunn from Oshkosh out in 58-40, followed by Nawazwiat over on the women's side. And we're finishing up here on the men's side. And that looks to be Dalton Brooks from, Aliha, from Lakeland Hills at 156.06. In, now in for the men, and on the women's side, that's Hurstbrunner. And into the freestyle of heat number five. So Hirschbrenner goes Heat number six on the women's side in the water. Top time so far, 207-21. Addy Hirschbrunner unofficially. Their leader on the deck. And McEnroe goes 156.19.
He two of or three of eleven in for the men right now. He three of eleven in for the men. He number six is in the water on the women's course for the two IM. Top time on the men's side, 156 double zero, Dalton Brooks. Women's side's a 207, it's a 206 right there. For Jewett, 206-69, Cambria Jewett. And here are your preliminary results for the men's 500. The men's 500. Alternates for the D final, McGraw and Duggins. Eligible to swim in tonight's D final in the men's 500. Gallagher, Gotti, Smith, Tungate, Morgan, Burke, McClure, and O'Neill. Your alternates for the C final, Shapiro, McCall, and McFall. Eligible to swim in tonight's C final. Pestricelli, Edmondson, Olson, Lloyd, Stebbins, Harrison, Whitbing, Kraft. One fifty-five twenty-one for Lejoy. Continue with the preliminary results of the men's 500. C finalists, Pestricelli, Edmondson, Olson, Lloyd, Stebbins, Harrison, Wickman, and Kraft. B finalists, Nye, Council, King, McCrammy, Spetz, Turnus, Innes, and Iturbe Cassano. Eligible to swim in tonight's championship final, men's 500. McDonald, Quarterman, Stull. Charlton, Lonsbury, Markowitz, Jordan, and your top qualifier with the time of 429.30 seconds from Schrader, Ethan Shutton. The time is now 10.05. You have 30 minutes to declare your intentions. Oh, Levi Pretty out pretty fast. Woo. And on the women's side, finish it up 202, 37. That's Devin Sargent, first of our three circle seated heats. So Sargent, we know she won the 100 back the other night. And a Levi, he goes pretty fast at 154.85, your new top time. And on the women's side, second of our three circle seated heat, heat. Number eight of nine, top seed in that heat, fourth last year, second and 100 fly, first in the 100 back. Alana Berlin, and in lane number five, Erica Maltsev, six in the four IM last night. 
Top time so far, 202.37, Devin Sargent. Trial psych sheet is posted. Time trial psych sheet is posted, coaches and athletes. Time trial psych sheet is posted. So good swim going on. And on lane number four, Alana Berlin. She goes 201.37. Just ahead of Devin Sargent. That's your quickest time through heat number eight of nine. Heat number five of 11, just finishing up on the men's side, 153, 31 for Owen Eisenhofer is your new top time unofficially on the men's side. And on the women's side, heat number nine and nine. First, a third of our three circle seated heats is in the water. Our two-time defending champion, Emily Thompson, center of the pool. She also won the fly, this hunter fly, and the 4IM this week. Fifty-five eighty-two going out halfway through for Thompson. Comes in with a 156.56. And on the men's side, Caden Wong, your leader, halfway through. So Thompson trying to be chased down by Augustin and then Bardo. And Emily Thompson will finish up, and she goes 20109 and unofficially has your fastest time in the morning heats of the women's 2IM. The next event on the women's course, women's 50-yard freestyle, championship and national record. 2197 in a most greater Somerset County, 18 heats. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee.
side. On the women's side, heat number three. Women's 53 in the water. Top time so far, 24-33. Now it's 24-31. On the women's side. And on the men's side, heat number eight. One more heat till we reach our circle seated heats. Last night's 200 free champ is in the water lane number six. I'm in Zartorski from Cheshire. He's out first at 52 13. Preliminary results from the women's 500 freestyle. D final alternates, Holt Yankee, eligible to swim in tonight's D final. Mark Orgia, Kane, Harlan, Sadell, Marino, McGann, Charette, Hildebrecht. Your alternates for the C final, Marino and Bikos. Eligible to swim in tonight's <laughs> eligible to swim in tonight's C final for the women's five hundred. Knopf Center, McNamara, Eldridge, Camelo, Padilla, Winnicki, Walsh, and Dietz Wheeler. Eligible to swim in tonight's consolation final for the women's 500. Ovaritz, Ellis, Pottinger, Schulich, Mitchell, Sherratt, Maxfield, and Hassett. Eligible to swim in tonight's championship final for the women's 500. Dickey, Pestricelli, Goodwin, Haddis, Bull, Dickinson, Ayers in your top qualifier at a time of 4.55.42 from Spartanburg, Hayden Penny. Time is 10.18. You have 30 minutes to declare your intentions. So on the men's side, 148.58, Kenny Barnacle, Greater Somerset County, your top time so far. Second number two, three circle seated heats is now on the water. The valley goes 24-24 on the women's side.
Heat number 10 in on the women's course. Men's course, heat number 10 of 11 in the 2 IM. Top time there, 148.58. 2431, pretty good swim right there. Charlie and Macaranis. Preliminary results of the women's 200 yard I am. Alternates for the D final, Curtis and Kavanaugh. Eligible to swim in tonight's D final, Steven, Sluck, Benoit, Camarella, McKayer, Petrakis, McQueen, and Gill. One forty-eight to time to beat on the men's side. And Mills, he goes one forty-nine. Back to the women's two IM uh, preliminary results. Two alternates, McGinnis and Walbert. Eligible to swim in tonight's C final. Richards, Smith, Jernigan, Hurstbrunner, Jewett, Kiss, Sang, and Bradley. Hinson with the 2368 on the women's side. Back to the women's 2 IM results. Eligible to swim in tonight's consolation final. Falcomer, Welsh, Yusuf, Zuratek, Pilger, Byers, Lewis, and Gussin. We need a coach from Chambersburg to the admin room. Coach from Chambersburg to the admin room. Thank you. And completing the results, preliminary round, women's 2 IM. Eligible to swim in tonight's championship final. Smith, Barto, Maltsev, Yakoviello, Sargent, Augustine, Berlin, and your top qualifier with the time of 201.09 from Greater Somerset County, Emily Thompson. Time is 10.23. You have 30 minutes to declare your intentions to scratch. So Stebbins comes in 148.82. Our next event on the men's course. Splash and dash, men's 50 yard freestyle. Your championship record 1948. Set 2023, Brendan Whitfield, Lynchburg. National record 19.24. Set in December, Thomas Heilman from Piedmont, 24 heats in total. This will be heat number one. So Madam Referee. Oh, heat 16 in the water for the women. First of our three circle seated heats. Center to pull Kate Murray. She tied for 10th last year with the swimmer right next to her, Isabel Lee. Uh, 
The lead goes 23-23. On the women's side, 23-23, your top time so far, Isabel Lee. In the third of our three circle seat, it heats in the water on the women's side featuring Anna Mosh, our national record holder and two-time champion. Ready. Scoreboard pool women's course will start with the four medley relays at 10:45 a.m. 10:45. 10:45 will be our start for the medley relays. 21:73. Pretty good swim there by Silos. Results for the men's 200 yard individual medley. Alternates for the deep final Alejandro and uh, Korzeniowski. Eligible to swim tonight's deep final. Men's 200 IM. Rip Brooks, Evans, Torres, Eisenhofer, Zhu, Bobbick, and McEnroe. With the, continuing with the results of the men's 200 IM, your alternates, Kunzel and Eisenhofer, your C finalist, 
Sutherland, Gould, Vickers, Pyle, Ronain, Paul, Franklin, and Hensley, your B finalists, Johnson, Reagan, McLaughlin, Maury, Brown, Kupski, Zoratursky, Beverini. And on the men's 2 IM, your championship finalists will be Bauer, Hoffman, Rusnak Tack, Mills, Taylor, Stebbins, and your top qualifier with the time of 148.58 for Greater Somerset County, Kenny Barnacle. Time is 10.30. You have 30 minutes to declare your attention to scratch. Heat number nine in the water. 24 heats in total on the men's 50 free. Oh. Once again, we will start at 1045 on the women's course for the 400 medley relays. Ten in the water. And Stein goes twenty one thirty eight. Henry Einstein Westchester. Another 21-38 for J.T. Trowbridge. And a 21-18 for Pyle. That'd be your fastest time so far unofficially. Big drop right there for Wade Pyle.
the Christian goes 21-32 from Birmingham. Heat 14 up next. And Heat 15 to 24 in the water. Top time so far, 21-18, Wade Pyle. Jimmy Beeson, he goes 20-98. Beeson, your leader on the deck unofficially, 20.98. And he still is at 21.32. Oh, heat 17 to 24 in the water. Once again, the women's course will start up at 10.45, 10.45 for the 400 medley relays. 21.03 for McCleary. Beeson still at a 20.98.
So heat number 20. Top time remains with Jimmy Beeson at 20.98. Jack Cunningham goes 20.78. So Cunningham from the Wilt Y Wahoos, now your leader unofficially on the deck. Unofficial, your leader on the deck, 20.78, Jack Cunningham, Wilt Waiwa, who's out of heat number 20. Heat 21 coming up. Need a coach from Racine, a coach from Bremerton to the administration room, please. ASAP, coach from Racine and a coach from Bremerton to the admin room. Thank you. Wang, he goes 20.71. Heat number 22, 24, first of our three circle seated heats is in the water. Ethan Vance, 14th last year, is in lane number four. Preston Kessler, sixth last year, is in lane number five. And it'll be Kessler going 20.14. Indiana County, Pennsylvania, 20.14. Your new leader on the deck. So heat number 23 to 24, second of our three circle seated heats, Ben's 50 yard freestyle. Lane number four, Ben Sitzma was 18th last year. Lane number five, eighth last year, Garrett Gould. Time to be 2014, Preston Kessler from Indiana County. 20.11. .11 for Garrett Gould, your new top time unofficially. Final heat coming up. Third of our three circle seated heats, heat number 24, 24, final heat. Noah Powers, your top seed coming in in the 1982. He's 12th in the 200 free the other night. Next to him, Shane Eckler, and the other side of him is Sam Lorenz. And it will be uh, Powers going 20.10 from Wilkes-Barre. One one hundredth of a second ahead of Garrett Gould, unofficially. He will hold down lane number four. We'll turn our attention to the scoreboard course from the women's. Women's 400-yard medley, your championship and national record. Middle Tiger set back in 2015, 337.81. Six heats in total. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee.
heats, six heats in total on the women's 400 yard medley relay. We'll start at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. on the men's course for the 400 medley relay. 11 a.m. We need coaches from Fanwood Scotch Plains, McGall, and Springfield to the admin room. Fanwood Scotch Plains, McGraw, and Springfield to the admin room, please. Thank you. So again, we'll get started at 11 a.m. on the men's side for the 400. So heat number one on the women's side, 400 yard medley prelims. Third leg in on the butterfly. Severna Park Y, Greater Annapolis, your leader. Still Severna Park, and followed by lane number four, Greensboro. Four oh one fifty seven on the board for Greensboro on lane number four. Don't forget to bring over your championship bioforms. Championship bioforms, try to fill them out, bring them over to me before you leave the natatorium today. Thank you.
Need a coach from Racine, Bremerton, Springfield, and McGraw. Coached from Racine, Bremerton, Springfield, and McGraw to the administration room, please. Thank you. Don't forget to pick up those championship bioforms. Fill them out this morning before you leave. Thank you. Preliminary results of the men's 50-yard freestyle. Your alternates for the D final, Easton and Barger. Eligible to swim in tonight's D final, Woodruff, Kirby, Pope, McQuiston, Beeson, Tasker, Einstein, and Haas. Your alternates, Higgins and Barwick. Eligible to swim in tonight's C final, Lapine, Gareth Hoffner, Cunningham, Grammer, Wang, Vargas, Bachelor, and Ivanov. Eligible to swim in tonight's consolation final. Lamb, Hull, Robitas, Vance, Weibel, Eckler, Sullivan, and Mayer. Eligible to swim in tonight's championship final for the men's 50 yard freestyle. Ortega, Nebrick, Kennedy, Lorenz, Sitzma, Kessler, Power, uh, Gould, and with the top qualifying time of 20.10 from Wilkes-Barre, Noah Powers. The time is 10.52. You have 30 minutes to declare your intentions to scratch. Once again, please stop over, pick up a bio form, fill it out. Turn it back into me when you have a moment. Heat number two of six is in the water for the women's 400-yard medley relay. Once again, menly, men's medley relays will start at 11 a.m. So Phoenixville with almost two seconds over Kenneth Jennersville. The scoreboard is unofficial.
Just about ready to get started over here on the men's course. And on the women's side, on here in lane number seven, Heat number three, that's Chippewa Valley. Trying to hold off the field. Our next event on the men's course, 400 yard medley relay. Championship record, Piedmont 2022 at 314.24. National record, 308. 95 also held by Piedmont, King, Moore, Heilman, and Brown. Eight heats in total. This will be heat number one, Madam Referee. I don't know yet. I, I don't know. They're trying to resolve it. But okay, for the tight position. Over on the men's course. Heat one of eight in the water and on the women's course. Heat number four. First of our three circle seated heats. Top time so far on the women's course, 356.19. Oshkosh, big Osh, Wisconsin. When's that happen? So there will be a swim off, a couple swim offs, 10 minutes after the completion of the 400 medley relays on the women's course in the 50 free for 16th place. 
And first alternate. That's good. Heat number two of eight in the water on the medley relay for the men. Time to beat so far, 335-53, Virginia's Blue Ridge. And over on the women's course, time to beat 356-19. Heat four of six, first of our three circle seated heat. So Cheshire's out three double O double O. Spot on for the Cheshire ladies. In the water now for Cheshire. That's Laura De, De Janeiro. On the men's side. Our leader on lane number two, Greater Nashua. But here comes Cheshire. They look to be under that 356 mark. Next to them, Birmingham, and up there in lane number one, South. But it'll be 352 71 for Cheshire. Your new leader on the deck. Wyckoff and Wilton. Pretty tight here out of heat number two. Wyckoff. Followed by Farmington family and then Wilton. You got it. You got it. No. And it's Wyckoff just over Wilton. 333.75. Sorry, that wasn't Wyckoff, that was Westfield. My bad.
time. 352.71, your top time so far for Cheshire. Second of our three circle seated heats in. Upper main line. There you go, two. Your leader just over Schrader. Cheshire, and then Central Bucks, and Randolph, your top three, halfway through. And now in the water, top seeded, Greater Somerset County. To get your national record, 337.81. Twenty fifteen, uh, Middle Tiger, Spartanburg. Schrader, your defending champion. I'm in a previous heat. And Cheshire, they go 326.62. Leader on the women's side, Lowe's, but here comes out of lane at number five, Bamwood Scotch Plains. On the men's side, Cheshire now your leader, 326.62 out of heat number three. Heat number four in the water. And over on the women's side, Famwood Scotch Plains. 
leading the way. Laura Kim in the water. Coming up for the final exchange. In which guys plays at 252.65. Follow about two seconds ahead of Piedmont, two and a half seconds ahead of Greater Somerset County. Anna Mosh, our national record holder in the 100 for Somerset County, is in the water. Trying to chase down Jane Cavanaugh, 14 year old for Fanwood Scotch Plains. Yep. Cavanaugh trying to Cavalier recruit, but most she'll finish up 342-49. Pretty good swim right there. We'll have those results momentarily. It'll be a, we're gonna have a swim off on the women's course. 10 minutes, swim off for 16th and a 50 free. And first alternate, swim off for 16th and first alternate. 10 minutes, so that'll be at 11.27. 11.27, the swim off of the women's 50 free. Thank you. Kennebec Valley, Gavin Bavis in the water. And upper perk, chase him down, a Roman Herman, pretty good split on that last 100. They're 329.44. Leader on the deck remains Cheshire at 326.62. Once again, swim off 11.27 on the women's course. 11.27 will be a swim off for the women's 50 free. First 16th place and first alternate. The heat number five of eight. Now in the water on the men's side, 400 yard medley relay. Final heat before the circle seated heats.
Oshkosh, your leader, halfway through the breaststroke. Followed by Indiana. Now Indiana, followed by Oshkosh, and then Fanwood Scotch Plains, halfway through. It's before the swim off on the scoreboard and the women's course. Five minutes. And pretty good swim right there for Indiana County. There you go, 325.72. They are now unofficial, your leaders on the deck. Get those championship bioforms, top eight in the events, top eight seeds. of eight, first of our three circle seated heats. Men's 400 yard medley relay in the water. Three minutes before the swim off, three minutes. Champagne with David Miller out pretty quickly. Time to beat so far, 325-72, Indiana County, Pennsylvania. So Miller, Champaign County out in 50.61.
Oh, halfway through Farmington Valley. Pretty good swim right there for a rush knock on the breaststroke. Next up on the women's course, women's 50-yard freestyle swim-off. Lanes three and four for 16th. Lane six and seven, first alternate. Mr. Referee. as the men will be finishing up also. Wow. Three tenths. There's your swim off done. And on the men's side, looks like Wyckoff. They go 325-30. Unofficially your fastest time so far. Like Borjo advanced to 16th. And Ritter to the alternate position. Heat seven now in the water. Circle seated heat. Time to beat so far. Three twenty three twenty-five thirty Wyckoff. Here are the preliminary results for the women's four hundred yard medley relay. Your alternate South YMCA and Woodson YMCA. Eligible to swim in the consolation final. Westport Weston, Greater Monmouth, Cheshire, York. Yoda, Wyckoff, Birmingham, and Western Connecticut. Eligible to swim in tonight's championship final. Lowe's, Spartanburg, Lakeland Hills, Piedmont, Vanwood Scotch Plains, Schrader, I'm sorry, Upper Main Line, Schrader, Vanwood Scotch Plains, and your top qualifier with a time of 342.49. Greater Somerset County. The time is 11.30. 30 minutes to declare your intentions to scratch. And Greater Somerset County. Halfway through the breaststroke at a 114 at 15. Gabriel Beverini. In the water for Somerset County. Good leg there by Yoda also. With John Reese Taylor. So it looks like Somerset County, Birmingham,
Yoda. Center of the pool, Mori Iturbe and Tack. Here comes Ridley with Eckler. And your anchors are in. Still Yoda. Eddie Wang in the water for Yoda. Somerset County, Darren Osbus. Birmingham with Jack Higgins. And Jake Kennedy for Ridley. And it'll be a Yoda. They go 319.75 for Yoda. Passes time so far unofficially. Final heat coming up. Forget those championships.